You see plenty of battery powered cars on the road in San Diego, but what about battery powered school buses? Hmm. In this week's Earth Aid, Evan Narani takes us to the Cajon Valley Union School District where they're ditching diesel. In the Cajon Valley Union School District, students start their day like any other by hopping on the school bus. But what's different about these buses with their blue bumper and wheels is they're completely battery powered. On this bus, we would basically just take this cord here and you would plug it in. And just like that, plug them in, leave them to charge, and they're ready to go out on their route. It's an innovation that the director of transportation for the district said took some getting used to. I'm an old school bus driver. I mean, we drove dirty diesel vehicles and I was really, really against this technology when it first came out because I did not think it was going to be meet the needs of the industry. But as it progresses, it gets better and better. The six electric buses were paid for through federal and state grant money, and while they can be expensive, they're also bringing in revenue of their own. After running their normal route, that remaining battery power can be sold back to the power company for profit. Vehicle to grid technology is exciting is because it brings this new revenue opportunity for electric vehicles. That's Russell Vare, the director of automotive partnerships for Nuvi, the company that creates the software needed for that vehicle to grid or V to G technology. First of its kind, and that is in the thousands of dollars per bus per year and that revenue can go back to the school district. He says as the cost of building these buses goes down, their technology makes electric buses competitive with traditional gas-powered buses. These are basically just drive-and-go vehicles. The maintenance goes down tremendously. We're not changing oils. We're not going through brake pads as much. Uh, there's very little fluids. Can you turn it to the on position right here? We're seeing decreased costs um, in terms of the maintenance on these vehicles. Beyond just reducing the emissions that go into the air we all breathe, the batteries could also serve as a source of power during an outage or emergency. Because they sit generally 90% of the time, you know, they're only used in the morning and the afternoon, they're a great candidate for a, basically a battery storage unit. So these six battery powered school buses are on the road now. They say moving forward, they're hoping to add more to their fleet. Our main goal is to have about 15 added to the fleet total. Other school districts are beginning to hop on board, switching out diesel for electric power. Nuvi and SDG&E say they're here to partner with them, helping to build a more resilient power grid and clean up the environment along the way. In El Cajon, Evan Narani, News 8.